I've got firearms. Um, I'm a firearms instructor, uh, both here and in the US. Um, and I train all the time and I've just, you know, I, I did a lot of shooting when I was across there, but the system is broken, you know, and, and it's, it's visiting various friends houses over there and they've got more guns than you can shake a shitty stick at. And it's, and I went to one of the gun shows out there and it's insane. You know, there's, there's, I think, I, I don't even know the numbers, like 10 guns per person in America or something insanely ridiculous like that. Yeah, three, yeah, three times the amount of guns yeah, in America yeah, than there yeah. are people, right? It's, something like it's that. It's insane. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's absolutely insane. And you can see that, you know, a friend I stayed with, a couple of friends I stayed with, in excess of 50 to 100 guns. Because it's the whole, oh, it's Second Amendment. Mm, okay. So but my... What's the problem with only the quantity of guns? No, there's, right, there's... It, the gun control laws, okay, they're different, different states, different counties, different rules. But essentially, when you're punting the, the Second Amendment, which, you know what, fine, it's how you interpret that, you know, the right to bear arms. Okay, so my question to a lot of the guys over there, do you need a fully automatic AK-47 for home defense? Oh, yeah, bullshit. No, you fucking don't. If you, if you, if you turn around and say, the Second Amendment allows me to have a firearm... Then fine, go and have a firearm, but don't justify it by its home defense. I need a Barrett 50 cal for home defense. Get fucked. No, you don't. Because you're not thinking about where that bullet's going. You think, I'm just going to, I, I, Second Amendment says I can have it. That's fine. Then own that and say, Second Amendment says I can have it, so I can have it. Have it. But don't give it, oh, it's for home defense. It's for this, yeah. that's the other. And it's the system, you know, uh, when Barack Obama was in, he tried to, you know, um, and I, I was in America at the time where they tried to bring in new gun laws, whether the restriction capacity of magazines or um, uh, I don't know, correct me on it, if, if the government was going to put a contract in place with the ammunition manufacturers to say, we want you to make all of the defense ammunition. So therefore taking the civilian um, ammunition away or, or reducing it because we want you to commit to this or whatever it was. Panic buying sets in. You know, and I've seen it. I went over to, I used to be a big fan of Bass Pro Shops, which are massive, massive gun shop, hunting. You know, you go in there, there wouldn't be anything on the shelves because panic buying sets in. You know, we're looking at changing gun laws, panic buying. And I'm, you know, I've been to, I've been to guys' houses where they've essentially got, <laughs> they've got more ammo and more guns than you would have in a regiment. It's but insane. Yeah, I mean, on the subject, of, like the polarization we talked about just now. So... I think one of the problems they go over there is, is that the way, so the, they only, the media and, and the NRA, those two, and other big influential organizations yeah. and, and things, information distributors, they, they, they are trying to, the ones, the organization either on one side or the other, mm. either, yeah, we can have any guns we want, or, or they think, no, you shouldn't have any guns, right? Um, they paint it like they're, they're, those are the only two options. You either can have, so when so when someone hears oh we're going to increase the gun control laws or well, even that conversation comes up the gun owner the pro you know the pro uh, yeah the pro Second Amendment yeah, yeah. Uh, person what they hear because the condition to it is oh my god I'm not going to be able to have any guns yeah. and they'll make me give my guns back yeah. which isn't the case there's like there's a solution there is a solution to what they have and it pl and it pleases everyone so and I because when they say you know gun control what I think is oh. Well, that's let's do what the UK did. Like in the UK, we in introduced gun control, and you know more about this than me, right? Because you you are firearms instructor, you got a firearms license. I haven't got that. Last time I shot was when I was serving. And but what we have is middle ground. We've got gun control. You can own a fucking we uh, uh, a weapon if you <clears> want. <throat> you can own a weapon if you want. If you are, can be proven to be capable of own of of having one safely. So from storing it securely to having the, the mental capacity, not being, basically, being at least risk of being a lunatic. Mm. That's it. So you can go and own a weapon if you want. You can do that in America. So it's like, have the gun control laws. Increase the checks that happen before you can buy a weapon. If you are sound in the mind, you can buy a weapon. Why would anyone be against that? And, and, and over here, so on the weapons... On the, you know, on the subject of fully automatics. We well, can't have fully automatic. You can't own a short barrel weapon over here. There's certain calibers you can't have. But you can absolutely, over here in the UK, if you really want to, and you sound in mind, and you can demonstrate a reason, you can buy a weapon that is lethal and have it in your home. 
There's nothing stopping you doing it if you meet the criteria. Sure. That's it. And, it, and the criteria literally only exist to make sure you're sound in mind and you can store it securely. So there's no risk of it getting nicked and there's minimal risk of you murdering someone like a fucking nutter. Yeah. And Why I can't you do that in America? They don't want to discuss that middle ground. Though. Yeah. They, the NRA will paint it as gun control laws means you're going to lose everything and you never yeah. be more weapons. But the problem is, mate, is look at the look at the money that is made. Oh yeah. In the weapon manufacturing, weapon sales over it's there. It's insane, mate. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, it's insane. It you know, it's it's one of it, it's it, it's just and again without without going over there and seeing it and and looking at the enormity of it. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just conscious to point out. I may be talking shit because I've never. I yeah. You know, I don't know it inside and out. I'm not an American. No, I'm no, not no, there, no, 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 no. That's cool. But but you're right. But the, the drama is the system's broken. You know, you've got essentially if they if they were to try and bring in the gun laws now, or not gun laws restrictions or, or further checks, because that's all it's ever going to be. Everything up until that point <coughs> gets grandfather rights. So the the billion guns, however many guns are out there, is just got, and the movement. There's no control over the movement of those guns. So my pal. John could literally turn around to his mate and say, "Here, have this, have this AK-47 as a birthday present." Yeah, but it's less likely with increased gun control, right? So this is one of the arguments they have. Oh, you could make, you could make all automatic weapons, for example, illegal, and you can't buy them, right? Oh, well, if criminals want them, they'll still be able to get them. That's fucking true, but it'll be harder because when you bring those, when you bring, when you let's say they, out, they make all them automatic weapons, or let's say they make thirty round magazines illegal. All automatic weapons are legal, right? Yes, they're all in circulation. Let's say there's grandfather rights, and all the ones that exist now and people have got them, they get to keep them. Maybe they have to register them, but they get to keep them, right? For example. But what it means is the stakes of owning of owning one of those illegally after the law comes in, if you want to get one, it makes it it makes the stakes higher. There is more risk if you go to jail, jail time for because there's more things are illegal. It also means that they become harder to get. Those weapons are harder to get, which puts the price up, mm. which means it's more expensive. Which means when something's more expensive, then it means less criminals can buy it because you're cutting out low low level criminals who are arguably right the more mentally uh, compromised, right at the lower end of the scale. They're less likely to, be able to get the weapons. It makes it. It does mean you can ship them around still, but it makes it much harder to get I hold think, of. I think you kind of got to be careful with the terminology "criminals" because it's not necessarily the criminals that are going to be wanting the guns. Because you, I mean, it's. I, I think it's safe. It's safe to say if you want a gun in America, you can get one. Anyone can get one, unless you're a foreign national. But even even then, fucking hell, um, it's it's that it's the the topic is so. Not necessarily sensitive. No, it is fucking sensitive. Sensitive, it's sensitive yeah. as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's absolutely insane. I wouldn't want to go there and engage in conversation. Oh, with I love it. I, I love it because I love it. I love planting the seed and then standing back. I think it's <laughs> fucking brilliant, mate. Pulling the pin, chopping that grenade. Say, so what do you what do you think about the restriction on the Second Amendment? And I'm just step back and go, fuck, boom. and you like that. And then all my mates are like, you're a dick. You're a fucking dick. You're not coming again.